Hey guys, what is up? It's showtime. I'm back for another video. And in this one, I'm here in uh, New York. It's a bit, gonna be a bit different from the uh, regular LA tacos that you're used to. But right here, um, my friend who lives here um, recommended me this spot. It's called uh, Huda Halal. Uh, it's basically like a, a truck that they have um, near one of the universities here. But um, it was a really good deal, like $10 plate. Um, I decided to go for the lamb over rice. So you got um, like the roasted lamb that's, you know, kind of on the uh, uh, pastor style uh, rotating uh, tacos. You can watch that video right here for that. But um, a similar concept and they kind of slice it off. So that over rice with fries on the side as well as tomatoes and onion. Um, and then on top, I added the white sauce, probably like a creamy one as well as um, hot sauce. I heard that the hot sauce here is quite spicy for my friends, so hopefully the white sauce and hot sauce kind of complement each other, but if that sounds interesting, make sure to keep watching. Anyways, let's just dig into it. The top of it looks really good. Got the, um, the lamb right here. Um, I noticed that it's kind of covered in a paste of sorts. Um, maybe that's just the, the bath that it was sitting in. Um, and then on the outside, it's got the cream. So let's try it out. Mmm. So rich. I wasn't expecting it to be this rich. Um, I've had the lamb gyros before, but those ones, they were like, um, you know, kind of wrapped with other fruit, I mean, vegetables. So you didn't really feel the uh, heaviness as much but this one it's just like the straight lamb with this sauce and I think this sauce is a kind of a heavy one almost kind of like gravy yeah the sauce itself is also really thick um it really is like the the white sauce you know that you might find on certain types of like meat spaghetti um anyways let me try the rice underneath Ooh, and the rice underneath it's a proper long grain style one as well um, so it's gonna pair really well with it. I'm not tasting the hot sauce yet, but I guess I have to keep going. Oh. There's the hot sauce, yeah. I can taste it. I think he put the hot sauce on first, and then the white sauce on top. Um, but still, it turned out really good. Um, and the, the rice itself is already pre-seasoned as well. Um, let me just try a bite of this rice. Nice little fork full of rice. Mm. It's, it's really good for sure. Um, the rice is already pre-seasoned as well. I'm not too sure what, what kind of spices they're using. Maybe nutmeg or chutney. Um, anyways, that's not to say you, you can't have the meat because it's super good on top. Mm. The lamb, yeah, it's, you can definitely tell that it's been roasting and seasoned for a really long time. I am 90% sure it's the pastor style on a metal rod with the lamb wrapped around it, roasting, rotating for hours, just kind of slow cooking it, making it nice and tender with all the juices seeping in. Now with pastor though, they put a pineapple on top and the juices slowly drip onto it and that's where it kind of gets its tangy sweet flavor but i'm not too sure about lamb if you know that please let me know down below in the comments but now that we've tried just the meat and the rice i want to try the ultimate combo right here so i noticed that we got some tomatoes and onions on the side along with a french fry along with meat and rice on t at the bottom so it's kind of like a a wonderful symphony type kebab i like i always like to you know try everything on the plate together at the end just to see um you know like what kind of vision the cook was going for or maybe just try to find a new way of eating it but let's try this um savory looking mouthful mm. this tomato is really fresh it's um really nice and juicy um lettuce is pretty good as well um rice meat potato french fries no complaints there um it's just a really good combo there's a lot of textures involved for sure because the tomato is still fresh so you know it's 
juicy, it kind of explodes in your mouth. But then you got the creaminess of the white sauce, um, as well as um, you know the bold flavor from the lamb, um, and then everything is kind of enveloped together with the rice underneath. But let's try another bite. Oh yeah, so good. Let me just try this french fry too, it's... I don't think this is your ordinary french fry. It's got some kind of seasoning on the outside. Um, that's kind of giving it a smokiness flavor. Maybe they added a bit of paprika to it. I'm seeing some orange, as you can see right there. But really good. Um, you know, obviously complements it well because everything else is well seasoned. So you need that seasoning on every component in order for it to stand out. Another bite. Mm. Ooh, look at this. I got a nice wad of the white sauce with the french fry in it. Mm. And this white sauce almost has kind of like a bit of a sourness to it. I think that they used milk, mm, maybe an egg, maybe not, um, salt, pepper, as well as sour cream. I think they put a little dollop of sour cream in it, maybe some yogurt as well to give it the creaminess, but I'm definitely tasting a bit of that sourness, which is really good because the, um, you know, this, the, the lamb meat itself, it's a really savory, salty one. So the sourness kind of balances that it all out. Mm. So, so good. Anyway, this was the uh, first of the uh, New York series. Make sure to keep tuning in. Today I got this uh, special chopped cheese sandwich right here from uh, Haji's Blue Sky. It's a uh, nice bodega. Uh, shop over in the East Harlem area. It was a super uh, local place. Um, they had a counter where you could choose uh, what kind of bread you wanted. They had the roll as well as um, a bagel and then the hero. I got the hero right here so you get two of these uh, sandwiches. And um, also inside the shop um, they had a, a selection of cheeses and meats that you could choose from from the counter like with a glass window. The uh, the guy behind the counter was super nice as well. If you guys are ever in the area, I recommend um, you go there for sure. Um, but today we got the chopped cheese sandwich. So it's basically like, um, you know, they take the uh, patty from a uh, burger, chop it up, uh, throw in some cheese, um, and then put it into a, um, a bread of your choice. But I got the, um, the everything one. So that basically means that you get everything on the inside of a burger. Um, such as lettuce, tomatoes, um, and then some sauces. Uh, it has been a while since we uh, got it because we walked uh, back home, but um, I think it should be really good. Uh, let's try a bite of our first chopped cheese from New York. It's very cheesy. So when you first bite into it, you get the hero roll, which is basically like the, um, the long sandwich. Um, it got a bit chewy because we've been um, walking back like half an hour but um it's still really good um mm. no weird funky taste to it um just straight up simple bread um it looks like it's got a bit of sesame seeds on top um but then the inside um i noticed that everything is kind of rolled up really tightly like um some kind of wrap so you do get all the ingredients of a um, burger but it's condensed into like um, the, the very center. So it's a, a very, very firm um, sandwich for sure. Um, and then like I was saying, the cheese on the inside, it's uh, very cheesy, uh, much cheesier than like a, a hamburger or a cheeseburger. Um, it kind of works as a glue to um, hold everything together. And so what you get is basically um, the components of a hamburger, but it's kind of mixed in almost like a burrito, rolled up really tightly, and then also enveloped 
all together with um, the cheese, the very um, melted liquidy cheese. I think I also taste some um, ketchup that might be in there. So you really do, um, you know, get the components and the overall feel of a burger. But again, it's within this bread. Um, I've never imagined it um, being inside of a sandwich style bread. It almost reminds me of a baguette. It's not as um, thick um, or as tall, but um, still the, um, Hmm. The, the the outer shell smells really similar to a baguette. But and it's an interesting combination because with a hamburger, you get it in the typical hamburger um, buns. And that one, um, I don't know. It makes you kind of focus more on the inside rather than the overall burger because it's just a very simple bun with um, sesame seeds on it, usually quite thin as well. Maybe they'll add some um, glaze, like some uh, oil to the top. But for the most part, it's a pretty simple bread. But with this one, you know, the bread itself has some character because it's kind of like a, a baguette where um, it, it's got different textures, like a hard, crispy outside and then the soft inside that's um, probably really airy when it's fresh. Um, so it really makes you appreciate um, more than what the inside of the burger offers. Um, obviously, the inside is really tasty as well. Um, but I think um, it gives a new dynamic and kind of helps you appreciate the sandwich as a whole rather than what's on the inside. Um, anyway, another bite. Yeah, just the, you know, the overall burger, it's... a very interesting um, uh, set that you're left with. Um, the inside, it's it's great, but um, no, it does. It really doesn't feel like you're eating a burger. Um, maybe because of the uh, the texture of the uh, bread on the outside, kind of that crispy shell, it makes you appreciate the inside even more because there's a contrast between like the creamy, rich inside and then kind of the crusty, um, but lovey like a bread lovey um outside um it definitely does uh bring a, a new perspective to um eating a burger which um we're all used to here in america um anyways this was my review of the uh, chopped cheese everything hero sandwich from uh haji's blue sky in east harlem if you guys are ever in the area uh i do recommend it i hope to be able to travel more and more um as the months progress but um, this was our first um, outside of LA uh, trip. If you guys liked it, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.